Uh, welcome to my stream. I am turning off my mic because I have a fan running in the background, but I hope you enjoy the stream. I found something. eluded. Thank you. 
Shepard. Server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate, and the Cerber squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerber is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Observer's forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your data point. You can intercept them there. Gotta double time it.
We died here. Reinforcements are here. Try to stay calm. I don't know. What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here.
Good work, everyone. of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on this call. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. If I'm gonna play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. Few things do. But it also results in fewer broken bones. really should get so a Prothean a real live Prothean has Liara stopped bouncing yet commander hello Shepard still getting used to greeting people in person no I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept how are you adjusting to the arms and legs this body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission but only adequate that's not the word I'd use to describe you Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. But what I need is your Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I... Uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station... But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He has to check It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... and a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. 
I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better.
refugees from Reaper occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D-24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Do you have any information on purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. That's it. Please speak with me. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Panama. It appears that Thurian forces may lose their planet. Primal Victus is requested. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Arriving at Docking Bay D24. I'm 
I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want you to worry. Chances are, I'll never even need to put on armor. I know, and I'm sorry. That's what you get for marrying a civilian. Are you and the girls going to be okay? Combat pay isn't as much as I make at the dig site. We'll be fine. The last thing I want you to worry about is paying the bills. Just don't go too crazy with new dance classes, okay? I was gonna drop those. Can't get the girls there on time, and I was probably gonna go pick up an extra shift at work. Oh. Well, we'll make it up to the girls when I get back. Dance classes, biotic gymnastics, whatever they want. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. And the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the... If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just... Next topic? I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. I'll talk to you. You bet.
Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, sir. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander?
mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in... How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info and I'll keep fighting. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do you think Protheans actually completed the Crucible? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into the Crucible if they thought otherwise. I just wish our Prothean knew more about how dangerous their weapon might be. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. 
If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard, it's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Far less painful than tissue sampling. Don't remind me. I think you enjoyed doing that. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap. Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now, but perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. 
No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. Asari Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Kogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that, you can tell him. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity.
Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you. Thank you, Shepard. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions. Mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Shepard was starting to think you forgot my favorite hangout. Sorry, busy. Looks like you've managed to settle in. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. We're not gonna beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it. Finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. 
Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for a Warframe Wednesday. See you then. Bye.